Hey everyone, Carlisle from Carlisle Speaks Wall Street here and this is a quick video just showing you a tip on how to kind of use variables in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So for example, if you see here, I have a sentence here which says if you buy 100 shares of Plug, which is the stock for that price per share, it will cost you blah, 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 blah. So this value 100, now you see this 100 right here? I'm going to change it. So keep your eye on this. I'm going to change this value to 200. You see that? 200 changed, and also the calculation here changed. <clears throat> so basically what I'm showing you is how you can do that, how you can have uh, essentially calculations being done within a sentence. So this number 200 is not, I didn't write 200, I, I, it's kind of a variable. So this is what it is. So in, in this column I just wrote, if you buy, and I just did it that way because of the amount of letters fitting in with the, with the column sizes here, but if you buy, and then here, this is the magic. So all I did is D2 ampersand. That's all there is to it. And then whatever text you write, you have to write it in parentheses. So let's do another one right here. So let me exit out of that. So let's just say I want a number updated in my sentence. Wow! Look at how I spell sentence. All right, and let's put a comma. Like, and now let's do our number. So what we can do is actually that's not the way we want to do it. What we want to do is um, let me let me change this a little bit. Just hang on one second. Let's go back over here to this column, and I go like. And then in this column, I will say equals. Right now, do you remember how we did it in the other in the other column? Let's look. Let's look at the other cell. So it was the cell identifier and then the ampersand. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say um, let's pick another number. So let's pick the let's pick the uh, the price. So I'm going to say equals. Click on that column. So I said equals e2 ampersand then I'm going to put in quotes put a space because I want a space between that value and what I'm going to say so and so like it's going to be like that price and then I'm going to say this number close parentheses there you go so that's all there is to it so now I've inserted into my sentence structure here a dynamic number it's going to be updated via this column so when I change this to to say nine dollars there you go so it's going to automatically update so that's all that's all there is to it. it's really simple you're just putting the cell identifier and then ampersand afterwards and any text that you want to be in there you're going to put in parentheses and any spaces that you want to put between the numbers and the text you're going to have to put that inside the parentheses so we did space and then the text it's that simple. You're watching Carlisle Speaks Wall Street. If this video was helpful for you, definitely thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.